Hello everybody, this is Razor Flamecoon, and in this episode of the Oblivion Let's Play, we are actually going to be doing a side quest. We got us we got this side quest in the previous episode. It is called The Gravekeeper's Repo The Grave Finder's Repos. We pretty much have to rid help um the Maline of the Roxy Inn to go to Moss Rock Cavern and kill Raylan. So that's what we're going to do, but first I'm going to make one little pit, uh, one little excursion just to the west a little bit. Because, as you can see, we actually have a map marker, an alien ruin map marker nonetheless, over this way that I want to get before I go into that area. And as, since it's not too far away, although it's farther than I first thought... We can easily go back there, and we actually found it. So I can actually start heading back there. Although I think that there is... Is there... I could have sworn that there was something on top of here. Oh, there's somebody... Oh, there's actually a bandit down here. Oh. Ow. Oh, never mind, a marauder. Oh, and I got somebody behind me too. Oh, and he's actually wearing ebony. So there we go. Now, I wasn't expecting them to have ebony stuff on, but... Or that one to have ebony stuff on. This one had dwarven stuff, but that one had ebony, so I wasn't expecting that. And... Yeah, that was something I was not expecting. So, already... This episode is getting me excited because I was not expecting to actually find any marauders here whatsoever. So it looks like this is a marauder haunt, but we're going we're not gonna be doing that. Instead we're gonna be heading to Moss Rock Cavern, which I should actually just be able to fast travel to. And that's what I'm gonna do. So we are gonna be going through Moss Rock Cavern. And see, uh, see the proximity of the cavern to where the inn is? That's why we have to go in here. So we are going to go in here and take care of this problem for her. Shouldn't take too long. Although I don't remember this dungeon that well. It's, it's going to be an undead dungeon, so it's not going to have very much in terms of loot. That much I remember. So we're going to drink the light potion, and then we're going to be heading down. For the most part, I remember this dungeon, but I just... Yeah. There's our first undead. I should I should let him hit me a, a bunch. Because, uh, to get our heavy armor up. I think that's what, actually what I'm, what I'm going to do. is try and get my heavy armor up. So let me just see if I can get another Hello? skeleton. Okay, ah! guess not. Is this ah! seriously only a one a one floor dungeon? Although this is a hard dun a hard lock, so Wow, that took that took way too many, but there is... There's what we came for already. So, yeah. Yeah, there's that, but there's also a Necromancer Adept as well. And there's an Ebony Mace, so I'm going to take the Ebony Mace because of the fact that we do indeed. And there's Black Soul Gem. And we are now level 75. Blade. So that is very helpful as well. And there's the boss chest, which is also a hard lock. So it shouldn't take too long for me to pick this manually. Yep, I was right. No crap, I was wrong. 
As soon as I said I was right, I failed at that lock there. And I filled that one, that one as well. And we actually got two security levels as well so far. Come on. There we go. There we go. And we got some... We got some more stuff that we can sell from that chest as well. So... Altogether... Oh my god, is that a... This is another boss chest. So this one, this area, this dungeon has has two boss chests. Now that this is something that is pretty uncommon. Very rarely are there two, uh, two in one. Anyways, this pewter plate, I can probably do that and then pick up the gems before they roll all over the place. And anything else around here? I know that there's probably more to this dungeon that we're going to have to explore. And that's what I'm going to do. So this this episode's mainly going to be this dungeon. Because that's pretty much what this episode uh, is about, was originally about, the this dungeon and the su the mini the quest as well, but because of how uh, yeah, definitely because of how quick this the the this part this uh, mini side quest has been, uh, I'm thinking of just going through the entire dungeon in this video as well. Ah, crap. Now, this is where things get a little difficult because we for, now we have things that we can't hit. And that's not doing any damage either. What the heck? There we go. That's doing some damage, though. Yeah, we start, we're starting to get ghosts, which are completely immune to all regular what kinds of attacks. Fired? All regular attacks from regular weapons. No, I'm not. Yeah, you can you can really fly if if you use the uh, the forward power attack. But this, I do want to explore this this entire dungeon in this episode. So this is going to be combined. A, co a combination of a side quest as well as an undead quest. And crap, I'm currently silenced, which means I'm not going to be able to do any damage to these guys. There we go. Took care of that. I can actually... Oh, is there's a ghost, so can't do that yet. Gotta take care of the ghost first. There we go. But now I can sit. Let me see. Did I get any of my skills damaged? No, I didn't. Good. But now I can sit here and have these two guys attack me until I'm level 75. Light armor. Or heavy armor. Provided that I get myself onto a healing spell. Or, a, yeah, healing spell. Actually, I'm going to do this. That's going to prevent 50% damage for a full minute. I could also get block up as well. And next, I need I do need to go and get do, 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 healing spell up. Where did the other skeleton go? Where's the other skeleton? I didn't kill him. Did he like fall through the... Did he fall through the... I didn't kill him. I know I didn't kill him. 
Did he? It looks like he fell through the crap. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill this guy or this this necromancer. Come on, stop running away. There we go. Heavy armor is up to 74 now, so we're getting there. Let's see, how close are we to level 75? Uh, not even close, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to kill that guy, and we need to get another light potion going. And get these two torches. So I'm going to be right back um, because need to. Computer is getting dangerously close to overheating. So again, I'm going to pause the recording and be right back. All right, I'm back, and we're going to be continuing on in this dungeon, which has so far been pretty interesting. Hello? Who's there? Anyways, down here, we're going to find ah! another necromancer adept. Which means this is indeed the second boss monster in this dungeon as well. And we got our first instance of a... of that, which... I'll explain. Uh, fairly soon. Ogre's Teeth right there. There's Nightshade right there. There's Gold there. Um, headless zombie here, where we can get more flesh if you want to. Some carn bullets, which fits in with the whole theme. And then we have this necromancer's chest, which ha which has the key that we're actually supposed to get in order to open that door that I opened with the pick lock. So yeah, this cape that I got, believe it or not, um, is actually hidden. You have to have an H. Since this is H, you won't see it, but you can equip it. It is a this is part of a mod called Hemingway's Capes. And not not NPCs as well as regular um, player characters like the guards we've seen as well as random encounters that we've seen will all carry them. Well all uh, the 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 will the dungeon ones are not are not you don't see them all the time. You see, they're actually pretty rare. But since we got another ebony mace, I'm going to go ahead and equip that so that we can definitely go ahead and get some more experience in that if we want to. And wow, I made that jump, which means our... Let's see, what level is our acrobatics at? It's at 60, so yeah, our acrobatics has, has been getting quite a lot of experience since I've been jumping all over the place. So yeah, everything is going pretty much the way that I wanted it to in this LP so far. Uh, however, we need to get out of this dungeon and complete the mini quest, the mini side quest that I just finished. Uh, the reason why I say mini side quest is because that was a really, really, sh that was mu a much shorter side quest than I was thinking this was going to be. I was thinking this was going to be a much longer side quest, but it turned out not to be. Anyways, we're going to head back out here. We're going to head back down this trail. And we're going to head back down to the Roxy Inn and tell Marlene, or M Maylene, that she has nothing to worry about any longer. And I just noticed there's a bedroll back there. Interesting. But we're going to head out over here to the Roxy Inn. And we're going to talk to Maylene. I assume you've dealt with... I and realize it's in poor taste to celebrate anyone's... I believe we had a contract. And you get a certain amount of gold depending upon what level you are. The higher the May level you complete it at, the more... My fine wares? The better the amount of gold you get. So just keep that in mind as well. 
Uh, there's nine flowers, so I'm gonna buy all nine. This is this is just stuff that I'm doing. I'm actually doing this to increase my mercantile currently. That's the reason why I'm actually buying these ingredients is because I want to increase my mercantile, and buying ingredients is actually a pretty fast way to do that. Now let's see. I do have some things that I can sell. However, this isn't the best person to sell to. Yeah, I'm not. Thank I'm not. I'm not gonna bother selling anything. Thank you However, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the it. next episode, Greetings. we're gonna be doing more, um, more stuff in terms of dungeons. So until next time, this has been Raised Flame Kun and Flame Hero. On.